Good morning, kindergartners. Now sing with me today. Let's be like a tree. I'm gonna be like a tree. I'm gonna be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the Father to keep me strong. I'm gonna be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the name of the Lord. The deeper the roots go, the better the fruits grow. The blessings will now for all to see. The deeper the roots go. That Jesus is the Lord of me, Lord of me. I'm gonna be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the Father to keep me strong. I'm gonna be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the name of the Lord, trusting in the name of the Lord. I hope you are trusting in the name of the Lord today. I hope you are reaching out to him and asking him to help you and to grow you. Let's pray to him right now. Dear Lord, thank you for our kindergartners. Thank you for their teachers, Mrs. Prem and Mrs. Hofer and Mrs. Uh, Kaiser. I pray you bless all of them. I pray you be with Mrs. Adams today. I pray that you'd bless her, Lord. Help us to continue to grow through this time, Lord. We think of our friend Alyssa and Mrs. O'Donnell and pray for blessings on them today. And I just pray you be with all my kindergartners and bless them today. Today. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you are growing. Uh, we talked about this another day. Growing, not shrinking, right? Growing in the word. I know your teachers are still having you memorize Bible verses and teaching you from God's word. And we're doing chapel. Mr. Kelly last week spoke from God's word, John chapter 20. Did you watch it or did you neglect it? Are you talking to God or are you forgetting that God is with us all the time and he's talking to us? You know what happens. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Oh no, are you shrinking too? And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. This is bad. And you'll shrink 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 neglect your bible forget to pray and you'll shrink 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 oh my goodness are you as little as i am what do we have to do get that bible back out get your bible lesson work on your bible verse learn god's word and do it read your bible pray every day pray every day pray every day Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. I hope you grew just like I did. Um, I brought some special guests today to be with us for music class. And I hope you enjoy seeing them. I'm not sure if this guest has visited us yet this year or not because things are kind of crazy. This guest had kind of a disappointing year because, well, he is his favorite team. And you, when you see this guest, you're going to know why he has a favorite team. And that team was doing so well, boom. All the sports had to stop because of the virus. And that team had to stop too. And we don't even know if they would have been the champions or not. Did anybody guess who it is? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. 
Mr. Jayhawk, he is squawking about that because that was a little tough to handle because he he said he said they would have been the champions. Well, we just won't know that. But uh, Mr. Jayhawk, thank you for coming to see us today. He said they would have been the champions. Okay. Mr. Jayhawk, but that's not why you're here, are you? I have been trying to teach Mr. Jayhawk how to use his singing voice. Oh, he says he knows how to use it now. Well, funny. Did you bring your singing voice? Oh, I heard kids saying, yes, I did, with their beautiful singing voices, but I didn't hear everyone do it. So can I hear that again? Did you bring your singing voice? Oh, he said you have beautiful singing voices. I've been trying to teach him. Remember how I've taught my birdies in the past? And I've said, cuckoo. Right now I want you to be my birdies because that's gonna help Mr. Jayhawk learn. Cuckoo. Who are you? I'm a bird. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Sing. We're going to have to keep working with Mr. Jayhawk. He is not quite ready yet. Um, I'm going to put him down. I brought some more friends today. I hope you'd like to see my friends. I know you do. Um, I'm going to set him down for a second. And I'm going to see. I brought some friends. We're going to see if they have their singing voices with them today. Oh, here's a nice friend. I'm going to test them out on the cuckoo song. Okay? Here's a nice friend. Cuckoo. Eehaw. Eehaw. Who are you? I'm a donkey. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Sing then. Eeyaw, eeyaw. Did that sound like a singing voice? Mm, let's try a different friend. Oh, I like this friend. Cuckoo. <coughs> Who are you? I'm a piggy. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Sing then. Uh, no, no. Good try. Good try, Mr. Piggy. Oh, here's another friend. Oh, this friend. I don't think you've ever met this friend before. This friend has not come to our class before, but he's a cool friend. Oh, if I can get him out here. Oh, yes. Cuckoo, girl. Who are you? I'm a baby tiger. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Sing then, girl. No, 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 Nice, nice. Uh, he's cute. Hmm. Oh, you guys remember this friend. He came and visited us early this last year. Oh, yes, it's Baby Owl. Oh, he's waving at you. Let's see if Baby Owl has his singing voice. Cuckoo, hoo hoo, who are you? I'm an owl. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Sing then. Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, that was so nice. Now, Baby Owl, did Baby Owl use a singing voice? Yes, good job, Baby Owl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, he said he loves using. But did he did he say cuckoo? No, he used his owl voice and said, can you say it again? Ooh, ooh. Did you, do you have your baby owl voices ready? Can you sing? Ooh, ooh. Can you be baby owls, Echo? Baby owl, can you ask, can you tell them what to do? Be my Echo. Sing what I see. I hope.
hope you are sounding just like Baby Al. Can you do some? Oh, Baby Al, I think is pretty good at this. Do you? Can you do some tricky ones? Hoo 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 hoo! Oh, are you ready? practicing a long time. I have an idea. I have an idea. Since Baby Al is a bird and since Mr. Jayhawk's a bird, maybe Baby Al can teach him. You think so? Let's bring Mr. Jayhawk back up. Oh, Mr. Jayhawk, I've got an idea for you. Oh, he said, hello, Baby Al. I, birds seem to understand each other. I don't know how that works. Um, baby Al, baby Al, I have been trying to teach uh, Mr. Jayhawk how to use his his singing voice. He's having a hard time. Do you think you could teach him? Hoo hoo hoo! Oh, he said he would love to. Hoo hoo! Ah! 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 Try it again. have to use your listening ears see if you can listen to um to baby Al and see if you can match him <laughs> I think he's getting it I think he's starting to get it try it again that was really close I think that baby owl, it's easier for him to hear it in his own bird language. So good job. Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, baby owl said, you did a great job, Mr. Jayhawk. Ah, ka, 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 ka. He said they would have won the championship. He's kind of just got his own, I'm sorry, baby owl, uh, baby owl, good job. Um, Mr. Jayhawk, you're learning. Ka, 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 ka. Oh, I bet you next time we see uh, Mr. Jayhawk, he'll be singing lots of songs. I'm going to put them back with my animal friends. And I have another animal friend that I want to show you. Um, but he's in a book. And I'm going to move a little bit closer to you. And I'm going to hope that you can see this book pretty well. Um, it's another bird friend. And this bird friend, well, he's not worried about his singing voice. This bird friend is thinking about, can you see what this bird friend is thinking about? Dreaming about? It's buses, who is on those buses? <gasps> Mr. Pigeon driving a bus? What? Let's find out what this book is gonna be all about. Oh, here's our bus driver. Hey, hi there. Uh, I'm the bus driver, listen. I have to leave for a little while. Um, so can you watch things until I get back? Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, and don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Can you do that? Can you guys help them? When you see the pigeon, can you make sure he doesn't get on the bus? Even from home, I'm sure you can do this. Thumbs up if you can help. Okay, good job. I think we got this, Mr. Bus Driver. All right, see you later. All we have to do is watch the bus and just make sure the pigeon doesn't get on. It's going to be really easy. What? You see, you see, he's there? I don't see him. Where? Over here. Oh, oh my goodness. He's already trying to get onto that bus. Oh, shoo. I thought he'd never leave. Oh, no. He's been waiting. Oh, we better, are you ready? We have a job to do. We don't want to let him ride the bus. Hey, uh, can I drive the bus? Are you saying no? Tell him no every single time he asks, because that's our job. We have, to, we have to be strong. Please. I'll be careful. No, Mr. Pigeon. Good job. Way to tell him no. Good job. I tell you what. I'll just steer. Mr. Pigeon. My cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. True story. 
I don't think that's a true story. You guys are smart. You guys know that that he's not supposed to. You're not you're not buying into that. Vroomy, vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. Not today, Mr. Pigeon. We're not letting you try. No. I never get to do anything. You guys ever say that to your mom and dad? My kids say that to me. It's not true. They get to do lots of things. Mr. Pigeon, you get to do lots of things. You're not being very thankful. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Oh no, he's running to the bus. We gotta get the page turned quickly. Oh, come on, just one time around the block. Tell him, make sure you're telling him. I'll be your best friend. How about if I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bust. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Shoot, I think he finally gave up. That's great. Let me drive the bus. Oh my goodness. What is he doing? Is he throwing a fit? Do you always get to do things when you throw fits? Is that the best way? Is that what Jesus would do? You think Jesus would do that to his mother Mary and his dad Joseph? We are saying no. I hope you said no. Yes, we're going to be good. We're going to obey what the bus driver told us to do. He's exhausted after all that. And we still said no. Oh, shoo, the bus driver's back. Hey, I'm back. Uh, you didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Oh, good, thanks. Oh, he's scared of the bus drivers. Look at, look at him running away. Bye. It's all right, Mr. Pigeon. It's just, that wasn't, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're not a, you're not a bus driver. You're a pigeon. Hey. What's he looking at now? What's he dreaming about now? Driving a truck? Who's driving the truck? Ugh. Are we gonna have to read another story about don't let the pigeon drive the truck? You know what, Mr. Pigeon, he wanted to do something that he was not meant to do, right? You know what? Um, would it be cool to fly? Because Mr. Pigeon can fly. He wants to drive a bus and guess what? He can fly. Can you fly? You know what? Get on your spot. Get on your spot. Pick your spot. I've got a spot right here. I've got a green spot on the floor. And maybe if we jump as high as we can and flap our arms as much as we can, Maybe? Let's try it. Ready? Try it again. You know what? Not how God made us. Flying. We could go outside and we could do that all day. You know, we might get to jump higher. We might get stronger arms. God didn't make us to fly. God, God didn't give us wings. What did he give us? Hands. Aren't you glad you have hands? What if you didn't have hands? How would you eat your spaghetti? Yeah, what a mess. Did you thank God for your hands today? God made you just the way he wanted you to be. Just the way you should be. And God gave you all hands hands to use to, and we can use those hands to praise him. Can you sing that song with me today? I praise your Lord with the hands you made. Can you clap them? Clap, 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 clap. I could clap for you all day. Clap, 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 clap. I praise your Lord with the mouth you made. I could sing for you all day. Nine. 
I'm 14. I praise you, Lord, with the arms you made. Can you wave those arms? I could wait for you all day. I praise you, Lord, with the feet you made. I could jump for you all day. I praise you because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. Psalm 139, 14. Psalm 139, 14. Psalm 139, 14. I hope your mom is saying, what is wrong? Oh, what are you shouting about? Are you using your shouting voice to praise God, to, to share out his messages? Because David, in Psalm 139, it talks about David was amazed that he was fearfully and wonderfully made. He was amazed that God was knitting him together in his mother's womb before he, before, of course, David, before his mommy even knew that David was in there. Do you praise God for making you? He made you just the way he wants you to be. He made you. He gave you all hands. He gave you all feet. He gave you voices to praise him. Can we use those voices and can we praise him with this song? You knit me together in my mother's womb. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you. he wanted you to be made and he gave you this day he gave you this day to praise him to sing to him to use your body to use your arms and your legs to use your brains I hope you're working hard on your schoolwork I have seen some great papers on seesaw I've even had some moms and dads who sent me some videos of you doing music and I love watching it I got to see Job doing his music class being engine engine number nine that was wonderful that made my day thank you guys for doing your music and for working hard this is the day that the Lord has made have you rejoiced and been glad in it yet I'm going to give you one more chance for our last song today. Let's sing it. This is the day. your hands and your voices. I miss you. I will be giving you another music class this week. This is music class number one. We get two this week. So work with me, sing with me, and I will be seeing you in just a couple more days. Bye.